Hey everyone, Carissa Nicole here with Center Stage Magazine, and I am here with Pepper J. How are you doing, Pepper? I'm glad to be here. Thanks for having Good. me. You Carissa. got in yesterday, yes? I did. Loving Nashville. Yes. How many times have you been in Nashville now? Oh, four or five, maybe. Four or five. Okay. Yeah, yeah, All right. Yeah. I love it. So it's good weather right now. It's not too cold. It's gorgeous here. 75 yeah. degrees in November. Who thought? I know. I'm, I'm kind of getting a little tired of it, to be honest. I was waiting not. for my beautiful fall weather. Oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> well, it was 40 this morning, so you got a little bit of it. Yeah, that's true. It was nice and chilly. Well, okay, you just put out this amazing book. I'm very excited about it. I'm, I'm starting to dive into it a little bit more. Um, she is the author of the Dynamic Song Performance, The Singer's Bible. And when did this come out? About two months ago. Okay, so it's brand new. Yes. It's your baby. It is my baby, sort of. It's, it took 14 years to put all my notes together from four years sure. of four decades of teaching, but yeah, sure. it's my baby. Yeah, a lot of uh, research in there, a lot of life experience to, to throw in. How long did it actually take you to write the book? Well, I've been gathering my thoughts and my notes for about 14 years. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, and organizing it. Uh, you know, when I have a student, a client come for mm -hmm. performance skills, whether they're a lawyer that wants to talk to a jury and a judge mm -hmm. or a singer or a comic or a sure. teacher, I never know what I'm going to teach them until I find out where they're at and where they want to go, what their goals are. Mm -hmm. So for this book, I had to think about all the different skills, mm -hmm. all the different performance skills that I've taught over the years and put it organized so that anyone could find those skills that, oh, yeah, that's a good reminder or, mm -hmm. oh, I never thought of that. Sure. Yeah. yeah. And you always knew that you wanted to write this. Is this something? No, no, no. Okay. no I, I, I don't know why I started keeping my notes. It wasn't really until about a year ago that I decided I was sort of pushed into it by my partner, John Michael uh -huh. Ferrari. He's a songwriter. I mm -hmm. produce his music also. And he said, you know what? You ought to just put it in as a textbook, a how-to yeah. book. I said, okay, that's what I'll do. That's great. So essentially it almost kind of wrote itself there. Just yeah, it really did. Your notes. That's awesome. Yes. That's very cool. Well, not only are you a very sought after uh, vocal coach, um, you do so many things. We were talking a second ago. She's a jack of all trades. Um, now you're an author. Yes. But you also own a magazine, uh, radio, um, I forget what you mentioned earlier, but it was an online magazine type of... Right. And I just want to say I'm not a vocal coach. Okay. I'm a performance coach. Okay. If my clients need so a little help getting over the break point in singing mm -hmm. or, or, or breathing or things like that that can quickly be remedied, mm -hmm. fine. I'll help them. If not, I send them to vocal coaches. There are some gotcha. singing coaches that are great, mm -hmm. New York. California, sure. Nashville, you know. Sure. But yes, I did start about 10 years ago the Actors mm -hmm. Podcast Network. Okay. Has three channels online. The mm -hmm. Actors Reporter, which is like a entertainment trade magazine. Mm -hmm. Actors Entertainment, which are like 12 uh, entertainment shows. And Actors Radio. Wow. And the Actors Entertainment and the Actors Inter Reporter shows are also on cable. Okay. Wow. Yeah. So you are an actor. I You're am. also a music producer. Mm -hmm. And this is the one I read that intrigued me. A yes. lawyer. I was a litigator for 32 years. Wow. Yeah, a trial attorney, state and federal court. Wow, that's, I mean, that blew my mind when I read that. That's, that's <laughs> very neat. Um, one of the things that you mentioned in your book that I was able to read, um, you were talking about uh, audience psychology. Yes. And uh, the importance of communicating with your audience, um, you know, reading them, um, all those important things in performance. And when I went back to the, the thought or the uh, thing I read about you being a lawyer, it just really brought up the question of how do you connect those two or how what was your experience being a lawyer that kind of you know brought that experience of a performance coach out if that makes sense yes well I was a school teacher and a lawyer I was a school teacher for a decade mm -hmm. and then a lawyer for 32 years and when you're performing whether it's as a teacher or a lawyer or as a singer you you want to communicate to your audience whoever that audience mm -hmm. is and that means how does the audience take in information? Mm -hmm. Now, when you have one student in front of you, you can find that out. Sure. The person that I learned a lot from was Tony Robbins, mm -hmm. Anthony Robbins, the author mm -hmm. and the speaker. And he teaches that people take in information either visually or auditorily or mm -hmm. kinetically. Mm -hmm. So as a lawyer, I would sit in the gallery or the audience area of the courtroom and watch judges before I would have a jury trial in front of them. Mm -hmm. I want to know how they take in information. So if they said, counsel, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Or uh, Mr. So-and-so, yes, I hear your argument. I hear your argument. Mm. Or, oh, I get it. 
I understand. It'd be a kind of a kinetic. Sure. And then I would go home and or back to the office and rewrite my brief mm -hmm. so that I would take their idioms and put that to them. Sure. Now, as a performer, and you have five or 5,000 people in front of you, mm -hmm. you have people that are taking in information all three different mm -hmm. ways mm -hmm. or some combination of that. Mm -hmm. So when you're performing... And when you're speaking to them and your patter, like what you say between songs or the introduction of songs, mm -hmm. or I try to encourage entertainers to speak during the instrumental mm -hmm. and share things with the audience. Then you want to hit all three ways of, sure. uh, and so connecting with the audience is so that you have a special bond with your audience mm -hmm. and so that they have a special intra-audience bond with each other. Yeah. Wow, that's really interesting. I never would have thought of it that way. Ah, that's what I like. I like people yeah. that read that, and yeah. especially people that are professionals. Mm -hmm. They they contact me. And go, I did uh, thirty years, twenty years. You know, yeah. I've been this, and that, and the other, and that I didn't. You know, that's great. I love that. <laughs> uh, and then I felt like I shared something of yeah. value. Uh -huh. Yeah. Well, before we started the interview, I said I was very excited to pick your brain because I am myself a vocalist. I'm a oh, singer. Very nice. And, uh, you know, I'm always looking for new ideas and things like that. Um, I've also been teaching voice for several years. So, oh, lovely. Um, it's just great to, to meet you and, and kind of pick your brain, like I said. Um, so I guess most recently we just interviewed Allison Irajeda yes. from American Idol. And um, you have worked with her very closely. Yes. And that obviously got me very excited. So what can you tell us about working with her? Well, Allison came to me a week after she was 12. She wow. wanted to be a rock star. <laughs> she was so delightful, I have to tell you, just delightful. And John Ferrari and I worked with her until her 17th birthday, mm -hmm. which took place at CBS Studios when they were filming American Idol season eight. They had a surprise birthday party for her, Aww. her family, plus mm -hmm. John and I were in attendance. and. Uh, and Adam at Lambert popped in, sure. but uh, uh, we worked for her for those five years, mm -hmm. and it was delightful. We've remained friends all of these years. Matter mm -hmm. of fact, uh, we have a ranch in Nevada, Water Rock Ranch. Mm -hmm. You can look it up on Facebook. Hey, hey. and we, yeah, <laughs> well, we put it together for children, oh, foster okay. children, probation children, camps, schools, and stuff like that. She just performed there last Saturday night, and you know when we don't, she's been on tour. Mm -hmm. You know, quite mm -hmm. a bit. And that's when you met her, yes. when she was on tour. She's with lovely. her band Halo Circus. Yes. Which really rocks, mm -hmm. really rocks. And uh, she's just delightful. I'm pleased to say that out of all the students I've ever had, almost all of them have remained close to us mm -hmm. and sent us pictures and, that's you know, great. give us accolades and say thank you and that's great give us problems and play tricks on us and so I like all of that <laughs> yeah, and that's got to be rewarding it is I, that's my part of teaching Absolutely. sharing Absolutely. sure and and also learning and more experience gaining more experience from them that's one thing I think yes. about with my students is I'm always learning from them even though I'm how teaching. true is that that's true you know, yeah it's, it's just makes the world go around really it does so, it does yeah. she wanted to do her hair red I said Allison don't put your hair red. you have beautiful <laughs> hair so she came in I forget how old she was, maybe 14, 15. And she did her head. Her, she, it was, she had red ears, red <laughs> forehead, red on her neck. Like, what did you do? And I said, okay, look, if you're really going to do that, go to a real hairdresser mm -hmm. and do it. Get well, it I done. was wrong. The red hair really made her stand out. Yeah, it's awesome. And uh, did a good job for her. Mm -hmm. And now it's blue and red, mm -hmm. which is also just delightful mm -hmm. you know I don't care what she does her hair I'm just so yeah. glad for her she's had a wonderful career and it, it keeps going she's writing with all these famous songwriters yeah. now and it's real fun yeah well since I you know can get the insight on you was there something very specific that you were able to, to pull out of her as a performer that you can pinpoint you know she was just always misbehaving <laughs> her mother would sit in the corner and because when we have a minor in the studio, we always have a parent or garden and sure. someone with us. And she'd always say, Allison, put that they be in. Mm -hmm. Well, that means in Spanish, behave yourself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, uh, and John and I would say, no, 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 let her go. Because mm -hmm. what you want to be as an entertainer is yourself. Mm -hmm. You want to bring yourself to the table. If you want to be somebody else, then let somebody else just look, turn on the radio and hear it than somebody else. Sure. Unless you're an impersonator, which is a whole different sure. thing, you know. But uh, that's what we tried to pull out of each and every one of our clients mm -hmm. is, is the ability to look inside of them, figure out really who they are and what comes easy for them, mm -hmm. and make that part of their, their performer uh, persona. Yeah. Because if you're creating a performer out of nothing, 
Mm -hmm. then it's just all fake and the audience will see through sure. that. But if you're really pulling it out of them from their real personality, sure. then you have a chance to go all the way. Yeah. Can you share with us some of those techniques or, or maybe one technique of how you would actually engage somebody to pull, pull that out of them? Well, teachers know that it's listening and mm -hmm. observing and seeing, you know, how people are. Uh, she was on... Gosh, what was it? Oh, it was Telemundo's Quinceanera, which mm -hmm. she won that contest. Oh, wow. It was very, Telemundo is a Spanish television mm -hmm. channel, and Quinceanera is the 15th birthday party. Mm -hmm. And I actually went to her 15th birthday party. Kind of like our sweet 16, but yeah, it's it is. Yeah, it is. Exactly, sweet exactly. <laughs> and uh, she was just delightful, and, and, and she took direction well. Mm -hmm. And we'd say, you know, use your stage. You know how crazy you are in the studio. Don't turn that off. Particularly when she was on Telemundo's Quinceanera because she was doing what the producers told her to do. Mm -hmm. and, and she was losing. Mm -hmm. She was like fourth or fifth. And I said, Allison, you have to be yourself. Mm -hmm. Remember, just be yourself and go for it. Well, they're telling me to move here. I said, you do what I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> <Listen> you, <know. laughs> you listen to me, you know, and, and that's what it's all about, yeah. you know, and she just completely utilized her space. She went from one place to the other. She skipped, she turned, and the, as soon as I saw her face. Matter of fact, Allison and I and her parents were at a resort near Palm Springs, California mm -hmm. called T Tam Tam Tamaris Country Club. Okay. And we were actually watching her on TV when it aired, when she was performing with Ferrari and Friends, our oh, band, wow. uh -huh. at the country club. And I saw her face when she heard the audience go crazy, when she started being crazy. Yeah. And then that's, she went down, she went up, she put her hands, you know, she mm -hmm. broke all the rules, and the cameras kept losing her. Uh. And I said, don't worry about it, the cameras will find you. Mm -hmm. That's their mm -hmm. job, they will definitely find sure. you. Sure, yeah. And, uh, and then, of course, she won, and yeah. I was just so excited. I'm sure yeah. you were so proud, yeah. So she's getting a phone call. She's so no. popular. <laughs> no, no, just no, trying no. to turn it away. No, you're fine. Um, gosh, that's so, that's so interesting. So there's a lot of information in this book, and I'm going to hold it up so that people can see it. Um, please, Dana White. Please pick up a copy of this book. I think I'm actually going to pick up a real copy of this book instead of trying to search bits and pieces online because no. that's kind of what I've been Thanks. doing. But um there's a lot of useful, useful information in this. What was your favorite chapter to write in this? I'm curious. Well, I, I think my favorite chapter came from my partner, John Michael Ferrari, because it says, by Pepper J with contributions by John Michael Ferrari. Mm -hmm. He didn't write any of it, mm -hmm. but I stole a lot of his thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> so the truth gave, comes out. <laughs> yes, well, that's why I gave him credit. Sure. And he always says, uh, no, there's no stranger in your audience. Mm. Everyone there is I your love friend. That. I love that. And, and if you really believe that and, and you're really giving to your audience as if they are your family, your friend, you know, they took their time out and spent their money to come and see you. Mm. And they're there, they're there mostly to be entertained. Mm. You know, sometimes they have different objectives, but sure. uh, no one is a stranger in your audience. To me, that was, I think, my favorite yeah. chapter to write. That's. Yeah. Uh, very poignant. That's a very, very, wow. That just blew my mind. Yay. So, uh, this is going to be the interview. She's going to say things, and I'm just going to be like, wow. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to forget I'm interviewing her. Um, so just recently, last Sunday, you were honored. Uh, the Multicultural Motion Picture Association yes. honored you with an award. Yes, the yes. Diamond Rose Award for Entertainment. Yes. I'm so honored that they even thought of me that was uh, yeah. that was lovely it was a beautiful event at mm -hmm. the peninsula hotel in beverly hills california yeah. what can you tell us more about that association actually i'm not familiar so well you know it's uh the eighth annual they mm -hmm. they've been in existence for quite some time and as i reminded them we are all the same race mm. everything else is just people trying to put us down for one reason or another we're the human race Mm -hmm. And but we bring a lot of different cultures to the table. Absolutely. And the, something like the Multicultural Motion Picture Association allows us to share those cultures with each other, in the best of ways. Mm -hmm. You know, our our singing, our dance, our food, our thoughts. You know, what's important to us and such. And yet, at the same time, connect with our basic humanity. And I'm honored to uh, have been awarded that yeah. you know and it was beautiful a crystal huge crystal heavy statue <laughs> and then the city of beverly hills gave me a nice accommodation in the county of los angeles mm -hmm. it's like woo 
Yeah. You do. Yeah. And that award was for entertainment? Entertainment, right? yes. Specifically one thing or just in general? I mean, Well, uh, they know me as a producer. Okay. A producer of TV and internet shows sure. and music videos and such. Sure. And, and that's how they know me. So That's great. Yeah. And that's opening up a lot more doors for you. Uh, she's in Nashville for two days and she's had like 30 interviews. Well, not quite 30, <laughs> but more than a dozen before I'm done. So sure. that's nice. Yeah. And we're very, very excited that you were able to sit down with us. Well, I and, chased and you talk. all the way from California to do well, this. Hey, hey. You know. <laughs> yeah. So, Center Stage Magazine rocks. Yeah. I mean, we're okay. I, <laughs> no, they really rock. They're very nice. <laughs> Thank here you too. very much. Um, I'm just a guest host, really. I don't, you know, but. Um, so you're, where are you off to next? We we had a little discussion about that. Yes, well, I, I need to go back to the ranch. Um, mm -hmm. We have a, a couple of schools from around the country coming for performance skills. Mm -hmm. And then I think it's December 4th, I'm off to Nigeria. Mm. I'm the American ambassador to the Arts for Peace Association, mm -hmm. organization, one of the American ambassadors. And I'm the one that's going there uh, with Muni Ironi, who mm -hmm. is the founder of the organization. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of, terrible things going on in the world mm -hmm. right now you know people try to kill other people and mm -hmm. and uh, a lot of what we call third world problems that are sure. disastrous but there are also people that want to remind us that you know peace begins with me mm. begins inside mm -hmm. with you and if each one of us try to do that message and try to bring the concept of speaking and listening lots of good listening and understanding and tolerance and if I might not say so, stay away from political correctness because, honey, it's just another way for them to censor you. Mm. I'm just telling you, you know, mm. let the bad guys talk <laughs> yeah. because that's what real freedom is about. America is a, an amazing experiment in we the people in self-government. Don't lose it. Mm. And uh, that's what we try to do. And in Nigeria is not a democracy. But they allow us to come and share our thoughts mm -hmm. and to connect and mm -hmm. share cultures like we were talking about before. And, and I've been to Africa, but I've never been to Nigeria. Mm. I'm a little afraid of all the shots you have to take before you go. Yeah. But um, <laughs> I'm really looking forward to it. We're staying at one of the king's palaces, and, mm -hmm. and I'm just thrilled. Oh, yeah. That's beautiful. Well, Pepper, you are an amazing person. You have write a that down, would you? <laughs> that she's Thank amazing. You. No, you Thank beautiful, you. beautiful soul. Um, Thank you. I could sit here and talk to you for hours, honestly. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, I don't like that there's a camera while we do this, but <laughs> it's okay. But thank you so much for sitting down and talking with us. And uh, Thank you for having me. Absolutely. We just wish you the best of luck with everything you're doing and, and just keep going out there and inspiring people because you've been inspiring me through this entire interview. Well, thank you. And uh, check so, out the book on Amazon. Absolutely. Will right. do. I love All it. right. Thank you, guys. See you thank next time. You. Bye.